Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I wanted to go over some of the Windows 11 rumors that have been circulating over the last few days. It's been interesting to say the least and there's a lot of hype to cover. I also wanted to show you all what the latest Windows Insider build looks like and what features we can expect to see eventually in the new release of Windows, whatever that might be named. Um, but before we dive in, make sure and take a sec to like the video and if you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free and really helps me out with views and overall engagement on the channel. Okay, let's jump in. So if you're unfamiliar with the latest version of Windows 10 and how long is it has been out, let me first touch on that since it is actually pretty integral to the Windows 11 rumors. So going back to September 2014, Microsoft announced that they would be designing the new version of Windows with the help of public beta testers. The main reason for this was that their previous release, Windows 8.1, was pretty horrendous and had very low sales and even lower market share than Windows XP. So obviously it was time to see what the people wanted. I remember installing the first beta build and wondering how this mess of a build could ever become an operating system. Fast forward to July 2015 and the final build of Windows 10 was rolled out as a free upgrade to Windows 7 and 8.1 customers. And honestly, it was pretty good. There was a lot of controversy around the whole free upgrade thing and people were worried that Microsoft was trying to do an old bait and switch on them. People are always wary of free stuff for some reason. Anyway, several biannual feature updates later, we now have the latest version of Windows 10 called the Windows 10 May 2021 update. Very creative, I know. We have come far since 2015, but for the most part, Windows features have just not been released in the last year or so. And this is where the Windows 11 rumors begin. Up until now, it was assumed that Windows 10 was the last version of Windows since Microsoft was switching to a Windows as a service model instead of Windows as a software. Think about the math here for a second. If you get a good amount of people to spend 50 to 100 bucks on a new version of Windows every four years, you can make some decent profits. And that was the old model of Windows as a software. Windows 10 introduced the idea that, yeah, Windows is great, but you know what makes the real money? Subscriptions to Office and monetization through the Windows Store. And honestly, not only is the Windows as a service model more stable for customers, and more stable in terms of revenue, but it also more profitable since it is basically just passive income generated by selling a necessity to people. Going back to Windows 11, it came as a surprise to many tech blogs and Windows fanboys that in his introduction video to Microsoft Build 2021, Satya Nadella mentioned that the next version of Windows was probably the most revolutionary version since Windows 10 was released. But wait, isn't Windows 10 the last version of Windows? Of course this statement caused people to look too deeply into things and to come to conclusions that really are not based on anything. And here we are. There's probably no Windows 11, of course, but there is definitely going to be a major redesign of Windows 10 coming this summer. In fact, we already had some leaked screenshots. The overlying theme we see in the leaks is a more modern, rounded UI with some overall refinements and responsive design. Of course, we are still waiting for Microsoft to actually use their amazing fluent design language, so we may see that coming to Windows 10 in the next version. Although there are several leaks, one of the most interesting in my opinion seems to show the new start menu as detached from the taskbar, and it has very rounded corners. Overall, nice look. In terms of new features, we really haven't heard anything. Some people are suggesting better Teams integration with some of your favorite apps, and also some changes to the Windows Store. In fact, the one really interesting feature that has been floated by the media is the inclusion of Win32 and Android apps to the Windows Store. I'm totally here for that. That's great. So since there is probably not going to be a Windows 11, let's take a look at the latest Win Windows Insider build in the dev ring. Take a peek at some of the new stuff coming on June 24th. If you did not know already, I've been a Windows Insider since the first build in 2014. And I've been installing builds from the Canary, Fast, and dev ring since the beginning. Right now I have a Windows build 21.390 installed on my daily desktop, so let's take a look around. First thing you'll notice that's different is the start menu. Most apps here are now theme aware, meaning they have a purple background when the theme color is purple, or in this case, a blue background when the theme color is blue. We can also see a new apps list with improved icons and some fluent icons mixed in there. If we go to settings, we can also see the fluent icon on the start and we can see a few improvements such as new icons and overall responsiveness to the settings app. Opening up the file explorer we can see new fluent icons and a new animation for opening and closing windows. It's a nice little change that I like a lot. If we go to the control panel for instance 
we can see more Fluent icons mixed in there. Overall, nothing has really changed from the last update, and I'm cautiously optimistic about the big update that will be announced on June 24th, Bill 2021. It'll be nice to see some new features and possibly a new UI for Windows. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked the video, I would love a thumbs up, and make sure to share the channel with your friends. Hit me up in the comments if you had any questions or if you had any thoughts about Windows 10. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Peace.